corridor is a name that elicits a vision of cleaning up this creek and taking it from what was once what is really the most polluted creek in Atlanta, transporting 40 percent of the contamination that the city of Atlanta sends to the Chattahoochee River and make it to something positive, a positive asset for the community, a place where there's green space and trails and we can do what we're doing today, which is recreate and stand, bes stand beside it and make it a positive space for community activity. So that's our vision, that's what the Emerald Corridor mission um, is focused on, is how to turn around these communities with green space trails, restoration of natural spaces, particularly the creek. We are here to build community pride and empower the residents of Grove Park and the neighborhoods alike. Create safe spaces to learn and expand and enjoy our community. The awareness that Proctor Creek is here, the, the awareness that we need to do whatever we can to save Proctor Creek, the, the awareness of the community knowing that Proctor Creek is important on a federal level, on a federal level. We don't want Proctor Creek being like Flint, Michigan. We don't want that, and it is susceptible to being like that. And we need to know that we are responsible for maintaining this community, this street. About your playing doctor with that boy. Now, I wasn't in the corner, I was just around the other street. Just don't tell her I give you anything you want, you can have all my toys. You go up and learn that kind of thing ain't right. And then I'm also an urban environmentalist, so the Proctor Creek means a lot to me. And we've been looking to see how can we introduce the community to Proctor Creek. And we came up with a concept called Creekside. So last year we did a little gathering. We had some music and some food. And this year we got the whole Creekside gathering. And then next year we're going to do a full festival. But this is my home. This is where I work. Uh, this is where my heart is. And this Creekside festival is dear to my heart. And this Creekside initiative is dear to my heart. Summertime, and the living is easy. Fish are jumping, and the cotton is high. It really comes together out of a commitment to really rebuild the Grove Park community and have the community uh, be recognized and acknowledged for its culture, for its history, for its legacy, and for the future that includes them. So that's the commitment, that this community really is acknowledged and that there is a, a sense of pride and collaboration going forward, being included in whatever the future holds. The future is, is our young ones, is our you know, is all about the opportunity for our children. So we've spent part of the day here with children's, you know, face painting and soccer, um, trying to give folks here, especially the children, a positive sense of pride about their community. Um, history talks about the Bankhead station. There's a lot of negative feelings about what Bankhead means. We're saying this is a neighborhood of Grove Park and it has beautiful assets and beautiful things and a way for children here to find a good future. So we're investing in housing and health care and an A-plus education and a school, new school for this community because the future is what we provide to those children. And so everything we do, particularly in an event like this, always is to be child friendly and child oriented. And that's developed into what you see today, which is a really positive coming together of people who want to make, really restore Grove Park, restore these communities and bring them back to, to life again.